7D tutorial on how to use a retort stand for our best fuel experiment on Monday. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that you, 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 and you can watch this at home so that on Monday we do not have to spend a lot of time teaching you how to set up a retort stand, okay? Now I know what's in your head. You're probably saying, Mace, what is a retort stand? This is a retort stand. Okay? Now, using a retort stand, you need to attach a clamp. Okay? This is a clamp. Now, how do I attach the clamp? If you look closer, there are screws over here which can tighten or loosen it. Because what you want them to do is to embrace the retort stand. Okay? So, I need to loosen this. So I'm loosening it so I can okay, clamp it on the retort stand. And then I have to tighten it. Why do I have to tighten it, you Bill? That stays on the road. <laughs> Excellent. So that it stays clamped to the retort stand. Ta-da! Okay? Now, you will be using a boiling tube with some water. So I'm just going to zip over here for some water. Can everybody do a zip sound? One, two, three. Zip! One, two, three. Zip! I'm back with the water. Okay. Now... I can't insert this here, so I have to open up the, yeah, the clamp, okay? There's a special screw over here. Whoa. Close up. <laughs> Everybody, oh. Whoa. And you have to loosen it. Oh my gosh, it loosens! No! So I can insert the boiling tube. I don't think it's more like a brewing stand okay. from Minecraft. So, What's happening? What's happening? What's happening has happened. I can let go and it stays. Magic! Okay. Now, what you are going to experiment on on Monday is the best fuel. We have two types of fuel here. A clear fuel and an awesome purple fuel. But of course, when I ask you what these fuels are called, you don't say, oh, the clear fuel and the purple fuel. No. This is ethanol and this is methylated spirit. Can everybody say it? Ethanol? Ethanol. Methylated spirit. I need to hear the T. Spirit. Oh, man, don't spit on me. Okay? So. In order to find out, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to weight the whole thing. So you use the scale and you read off. And of course you record it. Afterwards, you will take your, this is called a spirit burner, by the way. It's a spirit burner because what's in it? Spirits. Ethanol is a spirit. It's a fuel. What kind of fuel is it? Mm, it's part of your vocab test. Biodiesel. Biodiesel. Excellent. Okay. So we put the methylated spit, uh, the ethanol over here. What's the problem? It's too high. So what do I do? I loosen the clamp. Okay. Whoa! And I can go. To lower it. Okay. Now, this is the most important part. We're going to use the thermometer because you have to get an initial reading. Okay? So, initial reading. When you read a thermometer, you don't read it this way. You have to go down to its level. Ew, it's a 26. So, the initial temperature is 26 degrees. What you want to do is to wait until it goes up by 40 degrees. So if it's 26 degrees now, what temperature are you aiming for? Yes. 66. What? 66. Excellent, 66 degrees, okay? Now. Whoa. 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 Wh
you can see, this is different from the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner has no flower. wick. That's not a flower. <laughs> it might look like a flower, but my so boys and girls, this fuzzy flower thing is called a wick. W-I-C-K. Wick. In the olden times, this is how people had lights in their homes before electricity. Okay? Now, the thing with the wick, you don't blow it out. Remember the test before? Oh, candle, candle snuff? snuffer. Yeah. A snuffer? Why does this snuffer extinguish the flame? Why? Nicole? Uh, because it takes away the oxygen. Excellent. It takes away one of the three ingredients of fire, which is oxygen. Okay? So once this reaches 66, you need to pull this out and cap it. And that's it. Okay? Now, how do you like this thing? First, I need a zip. Zip. You need your safety goggles. Whoa! Ain't it awesome? Thank you. And you need the zip. Lighter and splint. The temperature goes up quickly, so you really need to keep your eye on this, okay? So you like this. Magic tricks. Okay? And you got fire. And you like the wick. And there you go. Okay, so well, you need to keep your eyes. Nice. Now let's say, oh, it's 66 already. What do you do? Do you go like this? It's 66, it's 66. What do you need to do? You cap it. it. You need to pull it out and you need to cap it. Ta da. Oh my God. See? Magic. Okay? And then when you're done, you go over to the electronic balance and weight it again and get the difference. Okay? So that's what you need to do for Monday. It's a quick experiment, but it takes, you know, I just want to make sure you guys know how to use a retort stand. So thank you very much for listening. You can watch this and catch this in ycisin7.weebly.com. See you there.